Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan. Today we're going to talk about how to set up OBS replay buffer to save clips. Those oh so precious video game clips that everybody wants to show their friends, their dads, their grandmas, and whoever else. Replay buffer is actually really easy to set up and it can be set up in three steps. In fact, I'll have the chapters, timestamps, whatever you want to call them, divvied up in the description below so you can get straight to what part you want to see because we all like it short and sweet. And this video is made from the perspective of a streamer, of a gamer, and it's made originally for gamers and streamers, but anybody using any video or audio sources in OBS can use this feature to record clips or parts of a conversation, or be careful with that, by the way. But no, as long as you're using OBS, anybody can use this. It's really helpful, it's helped me a ton. And I know a lot of you people are asking, but Rai, can I just record my entire gameplay in OBS? And the answer is yes, you can, however, one, that takes up a lot of space. Two, if you're recording your gameplay and playing on the PC and streaming on the same PC like I am, that takes a lot of CPU and GPU. Doing it this way will allow you to save bite-sized pieces, which makes it easier for file management. You don't have to sort through hours of footage and it saves on hard disk space, disks, <clears throat> disk space, disk space, D disk. That's hard for me to say. It saves on disk space, and it just overall helps you stay organized. So if you find yourself being annoyingly camped on from a window in Nuketown, and you want to come back and get that tomahawk kill, then you can record game clips just like this one that you're seeing right now. Over the bus, baby. Boom. Yes, save those clips, son. Save them. Okay, so like I said, we're going to make this short and sweet. Well, maybe I didn't say that. I said we like it short and sweet. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. We can set this up in three main steps. Maybe I'll give you a bonus one later on. All right, so let's get this thing on the road and hop over into OBS, which we are now. Look at that. All right, so what we want to do is go up to File. You want to go to Settings. You want to go to Output, okay? And, and Output Mode at the top. If you don't see it, if it's in Simple, you want to go ahead and change that to advanced, okay? So what we're going to do is, on these tabs, you want to go over to Replay Buffer and click check, the click check whatever this box, Enable Replay Buffer, okay? And then after that, we want to set the Replay Buffer time, okay? Now, this time, it you set a time, but it's based off memory, off your computer's memory, okay? We don't want to set it too high. For most games and most replays, you want to set it somewhere between... I'd say around 20 seconds to a minute and a half, two minutes. Again, depending on the game you're playing, it's all gonna be up to you and your play style and your whatever. So mine is usually about 20 seconds for, for kills or comebacks or anything like that. So we set this at 20 seconds. And believe it or not, that's step one and two. Check enable replay buffer. Set your maximum replay time. And the third step is going to be to set up your hotkeys so you can just make it happen whenever you want. It's a lot easier especially if you're on PC, or even if you're on controller. You make a dope play, you hit the F9 key, and it saves real quick. It saves your replay. It's, it's so simple. Let's go ahead and set it up. And if you haven't guessed by now, setting up a hotkey, you want to click on hotkeys right in the settings. So inside hotkeys, there are a ton of settings here, okay? Up in the filter section, we want to go ahead and type in replay, the word replay. Now you're going to see a couple of things here. I have mine set up already. But you're going to see a couple of things here. You're going to see start replay buffer, stop replay buffer, and then replay buffer itself. Now, once you have replay buffer set up, we're gonna exit out of settings real quick. You will see a new button under your start streaming button. It'll say start replay buffer. Now, before you stream, you want to click this button every single time. It'll run in the background, right? Now, that's what that hotkey is. When you go back into settings, under hotkeys, type in replay like we did before, that's what your start replay buffer and stop replay buffer settings are gonna do for you. Now, the only one you really need to worry about is the replay buffer itself. I have mine set to F9. The way I play on my keyboard, this is best for me, okay? You choose whatever's best for you. Alt, Shift, Control, Page Down. That's weird, but do what you do. Okay, so now that we have our hotkeys set up, I'm gonna hit okay. It's already set up. It's already set up, but I'm gonna give you a bonus tip, right? Right. Okay, so the bonus tip is you go up to file, you go to settings, and to avoid having to physically start replay buffer either by a hotkey or just turning it on before every stream, you can right here under general in your settings under output, there's a checkbox for automatically start replay buffer when streaming. Okay, so to differentiate this, I can't say it enough, this is to start the replay buffer process, not to claim the replay. 
So you see start replay buffer here. If I hit start streaming, it's gonna start the replay buffer, right? I don't have my stream set up right now, so you don't mind this error. But you see it says stop replay buffer, exactly. So that's your bonus tip. Now, now you can go ahead and F9 or Control Shift Alt page down your replays till your hard drive fills up, and you can share it with your grandma, your pastor, your lawnmower man, and whoever else. Okay, I got more videos for you. Check out the YouTube, like, subscribe, or don't. Let me know in the comments what's going on. I love you guys. I'll be streaming here on YouTube. Turn on notifications. Or yeah, love you. Love you. Bro. Hey, check your six, check your six. <laughs> I'm on the objective.